My best friend is here. Hi, baby. Hi. This little guy is a sleepy one. Oh, he's so cute. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, it's fall. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know it doesn't really seem that way right now because the outside looks like they're still green because for some reason in Montreal right now where I live, summer decided to, to happen. End of September, it's summer. We had the crappiest summer ever. And now that it's officially fall, summer weather is just like, hey, what's up? I'm not complaining because I love the warm weather, but I like cannot wait to start wearing all my sweaters and my like dark jeans and stuff. So obviously I did a bunch of shopping to kind of change up my wardrobe and switch things up. And I've been finding so many amazing, amazing, amazing things online. And I couldn't like not do a haul. <sighs> my hair is just like, honestly, whatever. I can't. So this video is kind of like the price range is from like pretty affordable to like more expensive aka revolve and free people So we kind of got a big variety here. Take it as you will. Um, I'll start with like actually I'm just gonna start with Brandy because Brandy's the first place I went to. Brandy is like my go-to for basics. You guys know I include Brandy in every single haul because as long as I live, I think I'll still shop at Brandy. I mean, this sweater right here is from Brandy. It's just so soft and comfy and oh, you guys know when like the weather changes and your scalp starts to get kind of like dry and itchy, which doesn't make sense because summer weather. But anyways, this isn't so fall, but I thought this would be cute for layering. It's just a simple t-shirt and it has the same color as the sweater just a little bit darker. I'd say it's like a muted purple and this I don't know. I thought it would be so nice with just a leather jacket thrown over and basic denim jeans and booties or something or sneakers. It's really simple. You can wear this to school. You can wear it to anything, honestly. And I love these types of tops with like the different color shoulders, you, especially the long sleeve ones. I find they're really flattering on my type of body because I have like very broad shoulders and like a bigger frame on top. I find it just kind of makes it look really pretty and not dainty. Why was I going to say dainty? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I am a dainty necklace. Then I saw this sweater in the store as I was about to leave and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, I'll, by the way, Brandy's all one size, so there's that. This color is so nice. Oh, maybe I should have worn this sweater. Actually, I don't know. It's basically the same type of sweater that this is, but it's a little bit looser and I guess it's kind of like a light burnt orangey pink. Does that make sense? No. It's like a salmon, I guess. I don't know. I really like this color a lot and it's a really soft sweater, but it's not too thick So I think it's a really good transition from summer to fall. I don't know where you guys live right now um, If you guys are going into summer weather then honestly, this is kind of an all-around sweater I would wear this any time of the year because not too hot and not too cold I feel like that was a song when I was a kid the last thing I got from Brandy was this hoodie and I really liked the color of this. I find light colors are still really in right now, especially for the fall time or the transition period, I should say. And I thought this with a denim jacket over top. I have a few jackets that I'll show you and I'll tell you which one I had in mind, but a denim jacket on top with basic, basic black jeans and sneakers, I thought would be so nice. And if you tied this drawstring into like a little bow. I thought that would be so cute. And um, it's oversized-ish. It's not like massive, but it's it's like an oversized sweater. The next things I kind of have in like color coordination because I organized it all in my like closet thing beforehand. So the first thing I have is this really pretty, pretty, <laughs> this really pretty top. This is from Majorelle and I got this off of the Revolve website and I thought this was perfect for, again, another transition. It's got the floral pattern, but it's still like darker colors so it can be worn in the fall time. And it has this drawstring here. So you could either wear it out as like its own top and kind of put the stickies here so it shows a bit of cleavage or you can wear a basic like bodysuit like a black bodysuit underneath and kind of have this draped open I think that would both be really pretty and the sleeves are nice too because they're not full length and they have a little button closed so you can actually put them higher up on your arm and it looks really nice and I really like the pattern a lot um, I'll have all links listed down below I got this in a size medium because I do like it a bit oversized and the way that this fits on me is like exactly what I wanted then I saw this on Urban Outfitters like the website and I was like oh my god it's very bright in person it did not look like this online and I really really don't like when companies do that when they put like filters on their pictures for the 
the websites because I'm like, that is not what it looks like in person. But I do have to say, it's so soft and it's really pretty. And I don't know, I thought it looked really nice with my blonde hair. But yeah, it was really like basic. Um, it's kind of like a mock neck. It's not, I wouldn't really consider it a turtleneck because it doesn't go up so high. But it's really pretty. And this was a like black faux leather jacket. I have one in mind, I'll show you guys. Um, I think it would be really pretty. It adds a pop of color, but it's still kind of fall themed. And imagine this outside with your little like <sighs> pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God. Okay, then we're moving on to a muted rustic color. This is from Windsor. It's the size medium slash large because they have like extra small small as one size and then medium large as the other. So I opted for the medium large and it fits really nice, a little oversized. I posted a picture on Instagram actually and everyone was like asking me where it was even though I always tag the brands in the pictures but um, I could not not include this in the haul because oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And what I love about it are the sides. They have these little ties and it looks so cute. It's long, it covers your butt, so you can even wear it with leggings if you wanted. Um, and I just love this color. It's so beautiful. The material's really light and it's not itchy. It's like a perfect sweater, I'd say. Moving on to more of like a mustard color, I'd say. I'd say this is mustard-ish. Um, this is from Urban. It's in the size large and this is a cardigan that's super long and really, really soft. It's a thicker material and it almost feels like stretchy, even though it's not. But it's so comfortable and I can just imagine wearing this with a basic white tee or a basic white tank with blue jeans, a belt, and like brown booties. I think that would look so pretty for fall. The way this falls is like just below my butt and it has these really nice pockets at the bottom of the cardigan and then the sleeves are pretty thick. So um, it just looks really baggy and loose and it looks so comfortable and it feels like a blanket and I'm really happy with this color as well. <laughs> I would say it's mustard but I have a friend that calls it a poop color. So I mean, take it as you will, but I really like it. Okay, moving more into browns. This still has a hint of orange, that's why I put it over in like this section of my closet, but it's a flannel and it's from Urban, size extra large. I wanted this to be so baggy and I am so happy about it. It's the softest flannel I own. Normally my flannels are like thrifted and they're so soft because they've been worn in for years. And if ever I buy like a new flannel, which I haven't bought one in years, probably the last time I bought it was from Urban. It was never that soft. This one is like the softest flannel I own. It looks really long when I do this but it actually just covers my butt. It's not that long. Like you wouldn't be able to wear it as a dress, but you can definitely wear it with leggings, which is what I wore it with. I wore pumpkin picking. And it has a pocket here. It's so soft. It's by the brand BDG. And I love that brand from Urban. I think it's so nice. And these colors are just like my, my favorite thing. Like the reason why I thrive in the fall time is because of stuff like this. So it has like a burnt orange color. It has green, a hint of purple and white. And it's just like my favorite Thing and an item of clothing. I just love it so much. Then I have this thing from Zara and I just got this in the mail the other day. This is a size large. Um, it doesn't fit like a large. It fits more like a medium, I'd say, or like a, a bigger small, if that makes any sense. I never know my size with Zara because their sizes are all over the place. Like I could be a small in something and it'd be really baggy and then I can be a large in something else and have it be small. So when I order online, I kind of just get a bigger size and then if it doesn't fit properly, I'll exchange in store. But I really like the sweater. It's mohair, so it's itchy on me. I'm very sensitive to like wool and mohair, but I figured if I wore it like underneath a white color, kind of really thin long sleeve shirt underneath or a black one, it would obviously not itch. This sweater is from Revolve. It's by the brand Tula Rosa and it's a size large. And this is really big. Like I totally could have gotten a small. This is like massive, but it's so soft. It's long. It has these buttons that go all the way down and stop around here. I probably would never button these up. I would just have it open, but I really liked the color. It was really basic nudish pink. <laughs> Me trying to explain colors. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it's a really fluffy material. Um, I call it the teddy material because it feels like a teddy bear and I really like it. I figured this with blue jeans and a white top can't go wrong. The last few sweaters are from Zara. I'm pretty sure they're all the size large. I'll just make sure. Yeah, this is a size large. This is the softest sweater I've ever owned in my my entire life. I don't know what material this is. Does it say? Oh, it's 100% polyester. It is the softest 
thing. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, it feels like, <sighs> like I could just pet it. It feels like a cloud. I'm not even gonna make any comment about the color of the sweater, but it's from Zara. It's a size large, it's pretty, it's oversized, it's really, really comfy, and yeah, we're gonna move on. This is another turtle, not another, but this is a turtleneck sweater. It's a really light gray material. I don't own anything like this. Tell me if you guys ever do this. When I try on a piece of clothing sometimes, I'll picture myself wearing it out in like a scene, like, oh, I'm just at a cafe with my, you know, chai latte with almond milk sitting down, like sipping on it with this really comfy sweater and I'm just pondering life and thinking about things to write in my journal. It's what I think about when I buy clothing sometimes. Please tell me I'm not the only person that does that. I have three jackets I wanna show you guys. They're all very similar in like the cut and style. I mean, you'll see in a second, but they're different, but the same style. That makes no sense, you'll see. So the first one I got was from Topshop and it's a basic oversized denim jacket, but it has this like faux fur lining. This is in a size US 12, so I think it's the biggest size you can get. And I just wanted it oversized. The lining is all the way everywhere inside with the sleeves, there's no uh, fur but it has this like thicker quilted material underneath so it's super warm and this would be so nice with a lot of the sweaters I showed you or like that red turtleneck that I showed you I think that would be so nice with this and it's really really perfect for fall oh, I don't know if you guys saw before but I have little pumpkins over there I cannot wait until the leaves change colors and all back there is gonna be like so colorful it's gonna be so pretty the next jacket is from Zara, and this is in a size extra large, even though it fits like really well to my body. <laughs> it's a faux suede jacket, very similar to the other one in a sense with the faux fur lined on the inside, the quiltedness um, on the sleeves, but I love the buckles of it. I love the color. Again, this screams fall to me. It has a really pretty gold detailing on it, and I could just dress this up so many different ways for the fall time, and it's gonna be so pretty. Like, how nice is this jacket, though, for real? This last one is the favorite thing I, well, not the favorite, it's my favorite thing that I bought out of everything, and I don't know why, I just really love the fit of it, I love the look of it, I love everything about it. It's from Free People, it's a size large, and it's a vegan leather jacket, oversized fit, it's called, I think, a moto jacket, and it has this fur collar here. Obviously, it's faux, and you can actually take off the fur if you want. But not fur, I'd say like that teddy material. It's just so nice. I'm like really washed out, so I'll show this for a second more. Um, it has like this, I don't know how to explain it, but like gunmetal detailing on it, like the zippers and the buttons and stuff, and it just looks so pretty, and I love the way it looks. It's super, super soft really floppy that makes no sense but like it doesn't have much structure to it and I know that I'm gonna be wearing that a ton this season so that is everything that I have purchased within the last I'd say month um, because I was transitioning into fall and usually at this time of year it's very cold um, also at the beginning of September it was really cold but now it's summer weather again so I mean it's fine I'm not complaining but I will obviously have all links listed down below for you guys you can check out there are fluffs flying everywhere let me know in the comments which thing was your favorite. I'm really curious to know because sometimes when I like watch hauls, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that so much. And then like I see other people commenting that they like something else better and I'm like, what? It's crazy how it's all up to people's opinions. Also, let me know what the weather is like for you guys right now. Is it fall? Is it cold? Is it hot? Where do you live? I'm curious. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications because unfortunately YouTube is changing everything and if you don't have your notifications turned on, a lot of the times you don't see my videos and it's so frustrating, but I just wanna make sure that all of you guys are aware that my video went up. Whether you wanna watch it or not, you guys are still aware. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what videos you'd like to see next. And I love you guys all so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.